Hi, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hi, good teacher. evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Fine. Hi, thank you. you. That's awesome. Very thank you. Pretty good. Thank you for asking. And how are you doing with the platform? You need yes. see, you need two point eight. Ah, that's okay. Yeah, you're doing okay. Do you have any question about the exercises or the platform itself? Well, más que todo las de there is y there are. There is and there are. Okay, that's what we're going to practice today. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Any other? Okay, so we're going to start. But yesterday we were practicing about there is, there are, some and any, and also we watched the video and we have a conversation about it. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're going to practice this conversation. When in this conversation you can uh, use, um, you can see the use of there is and there are, and also the use of any and some, as we talked yesterday about it, we're going to practice that topic a little bit more. As you can see in the picture, there is someone who is moving to a new house or a new apartment. In this case, she is moving to a new apartment. And we can see the conversation here. So the first thing we're going to do is to practice pronunciation. Let's go ahead and practice. This apartment is great. This apartment this is great. apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. Thanks, Thanks. I, love I love it, it but, but I really need some, some furniture. furniture. What do you need? What do you, what do you need? need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. Oh, oh I, I need, need lots of things. of things. There are, there there are, are some things chairs in the kitchen, kitchen that you but there's not a table. And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there's, and there's no, no sofa here in the living room. The living room. The living room. And there aren't any chairs. And there, there aren't, aren't any, any chairs. There is only this lamp. There is it's only this lamp. lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. So, so let's go shopping next weekend. weekend. Perfect. Um, do I I have volunteers to practice the conversation? Volunteers, raise your I, hand. Yeah. I need to see the hand. Yeah. Alejandra. Sí. Okay, Alejandra. Who wants to practice with Alejandra? A volunteer. Okay, Alejandra mm -hmm. and, yes? Me, Gerardo. Okay, Alejandra and Gerardo. So you can start, Gerardo, and then okay. um, Alejandra continues. Okay. This, uh, okay, this apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What did you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some shares in the kitchen but there is in a table and there is no sofa here in the living room and there aren't any chairs there are only this lamp so let's go shopping next weekend okay you did an excellent job just remember here this furniture como como furniture furniture furniture, furniture. furniture. 
Furniture. Furniture. Excellent. Okay, let's listen to another two volunteers. Thank you so much, Alejandra and Gerardo. Let's listen to more volunteers. Another two volunteers. Yeah, teacher. Okay, what's your name? Estela Morales. Okay, Estela and Edgar. Vi que Edgar levantó la manita. So, Edgar, you're going to be Chris, and Estela is going to be Linda. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need a lot of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. You did a very nice job. Just remember he is really, como con I, really. 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 That's excellent. You did an excellent job. Let's listen to two more. Otros dos. Two more volunteers. Yo, teacher. Your name? Araceli. Araceli, okay. Who wants to practice with Araceli? Yo. Yo? What's your name? Emma. Emma, okay. Emma and Araceli. You can start, uh, Araceli. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there is not a table. And there's no sofa. It is in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next week. Excellent job. Thanks. Nice. This word I know is difficult, but we we just need to practice. Furniture. Furniture. Just as you listen, furniture. Furniture. Excellent, excellent. Okay, do we have two more? Los últimos, dos más. Yo, teacher. Your name? Dina. Dina, okay. Who wants to practice with Dina? Yo, teacher, Linda. Linda, okay. You can start Dina and then Linda. Ay, cabal está el nombre, Linda. Okay. Dina, you can start. <laughs> okay. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some shy in the kitchen, but there is on a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room? And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Excellent go. job. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, this was a practice about this conversation. You are doing a great job with pronunciation. So we're going to move ahead. Well, yesterday we started studying this chart. Ayer empezamos a estudiar este chart. Decíamos que there is y there are. Se usa para hablar sobre la existencia o no existencia de algo, ¿verdad? Si vamos a decir afirmativo que hay, hay algo, vamos a usar there is si es singular o there are en el caso de plurales. Si es que no hay, Vamos a usarlo en negativo. There isn't para singular y there aren't para plural. Otra cosa que decíamos que cuando vamos a mencionar un nombre singular, vamos a usar el artículo a o an. Ajá. Que ambos significan un o una, ¿verdad? La diferencia es que vamos a usar a cuando el nombre que sigue empiece con un sonido consonante, como acá, a bed. Yes. 
una cama, a bed. Eh, si fuera, por ejemplo, armchair, ¿se acuerdan de la palabra armchair? Empieza sí. con A, ¿verdad? Entonces, si quiero decir que hay un sillón de los pequeños, eso se llaman armchair. Entonces, si yo quiero decir hay un sillón en, en el uh, sala, hay un sillón en la sala, there is an armchair in the living room. Ok, esos son con los artículos A y AN, ambos significan un o una. Por lo tanto, si vamos a mencionar algo plural, no vamos a usarlo. Porque como eso significa un o una y lo usamos con nombres singulares, para plurales ya no lo utilizamos. Um, para cuando sean plurales, vamos a estar utilizando some y Uh, podemos usar any. Ok, estos son como quantifiers. Ok, some es como decir algunos o algunas. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo que dice there are some chairs in the kitchen. Por lo mismo, solo lo vamos a usar en, en oraciones afirmativas. O estamos diciendo hay algunos o hay algunas. Any es como decir ningunos o nada de... There aren't any chairs in the kitchen. El any también lo podemos usar acá con, con there isn't any. Por ejemplo, puedo decir que no hay nada de agua en el refrigerador. There isn't any water in the fridge. Ok. Um, questions so far? ¿Tienen preguntas hasta acá? No questions? No. Ok, so we can continue practicing here. Vamos a completar aquí usando is o are. La, la foto solo es ilustrativa, no, no se van a basar en la foto. So, la foto solo es como decoración. Ok, vamos a usar usando con is o are o aren't. Eh, puede ser contractado, vamos a ver, solo vamos a ir poniendo como lo que iría en los espacios, no es necesario que lo copien todo. In Roger's house, there, y dice a big living room, entonces como es singular, aquí faltaba el is, solo que aquí está contractado. In Roger's house, there is a big living room, there two bedrooms, entonces ¿cuál iría aquí? Uh, R. Uh, uh. Um, There are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Uh -huh. Entonces aquí es is y aquí are. There are two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Y así lo van a ir haciendo. Solo leer, como pensar si va is, are, o aren't. And so on. Les voy a dar un poquito de tiempo para que vayan leyendo y contestando. Y luego vamos a revisar. Okay.
Okay, so we finished? Finished. Finished. Let us check. Okay, here we said in Roger's house there is a big living room. There are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Uh, let's continue. There no yard. Yeah. There, there is, is no yard. Excellent. There is no yard, but there is, is, is a, balcony. a balcony. But there is a balcony. Okay. He has a lot of books. So there bookcases. Are, are, there are. are. There are bookcases. In the living room. In the living room. In the living room. And then there, there are any chairs. There are any chairs. There are any chairs or there aren't any chairs. There are are aren't. Aren't. Ajá. Como es negativa, vamos a poner aren't. There aren't any chairs. In the kitchen, but there is there is a uh -huh, there is a big table with chairs in the dining room. There, there is there is there is there is no stop. Uh -huh. Está en singular, verdad? Una Estufa. There is no stove in the kitchen, but there is a small microwave. ¿Qué falta ahí? There is. There is a small microwave oven. There are. There are two televisions in Roger's house. There. There is one television. There is one television in the living room and. There is, there is one television in the bedroom. Excellent. That's the, the way it should be completed. So um, taking this as a model, can you make a short paragraph about your house? Un pequeño párrafo acerca de su casa, unas cinco líneas tomando esto como ejemplo. Pueden poner algo similar acerca de su casa. They can say, in my house, in my house, there is a big living room. There is no, there is no TV in the living room. 
and so on and so on. Okay, volunteer to share the paragraph. Uh, me teacher. Okay, Gerardo. In my house, there is a big living room. There are three bedrooms and two bathrooms. There are a big yard. There is, is not a balcony. And there is a big kitchen. Excellent. You did a very nice job. The only thing is there in a yard. El patio es singular, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué usaríamos ahí? There. Is. There is a yard. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. You did a nice, nice job. Another volunteer? Volunteers, oh, you didn't do the paragraph? Oui. Okay, Erika? Erika, sí, okay. In my house, there is a big living, living room. 
there are uh, three bedrooms and one bathroom. There is a yard. That's it, excellent. Very well done. Thank you for your participation. Any other volunteer? Another volunteer? Remember that participation are chances to improve. La participación es la única manera que tienen como para mejorar, para saber si lo están haciendo bien. Okay, thank you so much, Emma. In my, in my house, there are two bedrooms. There are there are there are two televisions. There is not great radio. There are two and chair. There is not garage. Okay, excellent job. Perfect. Thank you so much, Emma. Uh, any other? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my house, there are three bedrooms. A yard. There is a small kitchen. There are two televisions in my house. And there is one table. There are two bathrooms. There are two gardens. Excellent job, Estela. Thank you so much, Estela. Excellent. The other volunteer? Okay, I see here but in my house there are two armchairs, a sofa and living room too. There is a TV, computer, and a stereo in the kitchen. There is a microwave oven and a stove in my bedroom. There is a computer, my bed, and many books. Okay, excellent, Josué. Thank you. Josué decidió escribirlo, <laughs> and that's okay, excellent job. Any other volunteer? Escuché por ahí a Edgar, no? In, in my house, there, there is a big living room. There is one bedroom and one bathroom. There are five, cha five chairs in the kitchen. There is a big table with chairs in the dining room. There are three TV in my house. Excellent composition, excellent paragraph. Do we have any other volunteer? Yo, teacher, dígale. Okay, thank you, Araceli. In my house, there are two rooms and there, there is a kitchen and two bedrooms. In the living room, there aren't television. Excellent. Excellent job, Araceli. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer before we continue? Your teacher. Okay, Bruno. Thank you. In my house, there is a living room. There are four bedrooms and three bathrooms. There is a stove and there is refrigerator in the chicken. There are two chairs. Okay, that's it. Very good, thank you so much, excellent job. Do we have other volunteer? Your teacher. Okay, Sarai, thank you. In my house, there are three bedrooms, a bathroom, we don't have a garden, a dining room, a living room, a kitchen. Excellent. You did a perfect combination of what we have studied so far. Excellent. Any other volunteer? No more? Okay, so thank you so much. We're going to continue then. Okay, well, in the next part, it's the last thing that you will see in the platform in the section number two, which is the reading about two special houses. And the first reading, it says, every year many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American trips. 
most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called hogans. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. And there is another. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Nerds is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and uh, colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Nerds' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Nerds loves it. Okay, this reading, you're gonna find it in the in the lesson 2, that 11, and it's about two spatial houses. Esto es lo último que tienen en la platform. En cuanto a lo que son las casas y todo eso. So, esto es lo último en la sección 2. Entonces, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta con el vocabulario de estas lecturas. No questions? Wood burning. Wood burning, ok, wood es madera. Wood significa madera. Bueno, la palabra en sí, wood burning stove, es una estufa de madera o una cocina de leña. Eso sería a wood burning stove, una cocina de leña. Any other question? Eh, mi teacher, pero era del, del, del vocabulario de furniture. Eh, de, para decir microwave, siempre tenemos que decir microwave oven. No. O solo microwave. Puede decir solo microwave. Okay. Y puede decir microwave oven, pero microwave ya se sabe que es un horno microondas. So that's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Excelente. Y, y, y otra Y otra pregunta, he visto, he visto que en la mayoría de textos que se escriben en inglés, al, al referirse a números, no, no, no escriben el número, sino que escriben la palabra del número. ¿Cuál es la correcta? ¿Escribir el número o poner el número en sí? Ambas formas son correctas, pero se considera más formal escribir la palabra. Uh -huh. Ok. Es como más formal, o sea que si usted está escribiendo algo formal y eh, lo mejor es escribir el número completo. Pero la verdad no hay mayor diferencia. Puede escribir el número así representado como tal o en letras. Ok. Uh -huh. Any other question? Oh, about the vocabulary, no question? Okay, well, this is the last thing that you're going to study in the in the platform. Esto es lo último que ven en la sección 2, esa lectura. Y luego tienen que hacer los ejercicios de la, la sección, ¿verdad? El knowledge check. Son acerca de esa lectura, algunos. Y entonces pasaríamos a la sección 3, ¿verdad? Haciendo un pequeño repaso ya de lo que ha sido la 2 que fue, pues, vimos lo de las, there is, there are, hicieron un buen trabajo con there is y there are. So, vamos a hacer un último repaso de esto, there, are, there is, there are. Solo recuerden que cuando es um, negativo antes de any, siempre vamos a poner there isn't any o there aren't any. Siempre va a llevar el not y el any. O se puede hacer de esta otra forma, sin el any, ¿verdad? That's important. So, vamos a hacer una última práctica con esto. Y luego vamos a empezar ya la sección 3. So, uh, look at the pictures of Linda's apartment. 
complete the sentences and then practice. So we're going to watch the picture and complete the sentences. So you have the picture, you have to see here and complete. For example, here it says dresser in the bedroom. Get a dresser. Um, gavetero. Gavetero, el gavetero es el dresser. Entonces, si vemos la picture, no hay. No hay un gavetero en el cuarto. There is no dresser in the bedroom. Ahora dice chairs in the kitchen, la número dos. ¿Qué vamos a poner? Chairs. There are. There are three chairs. Ajá. Pueden poner there are three chairs. Pueden poner simplemente there are chairs in the kitchen o pueden poner algunas. There are some chairs in the kitchen and that's perfect. Mm. Vamos a completar de la 3 hasta la 8. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que vayan haciéndolo. Ya hicimos las primeras dos juntos. Ahora pues les queda completar las demás. algo que me En la 5 se podría referir al living room. A ver, la 5 es en general en el piso. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok.
Okay, a volunteer for number three. There is. There is. TV in the living room. Okay, only there is TV or there is a TV or. There, there, there is a TV. Excellent, there is a TV in the living room. That's okay, excellent. Number four. Oy. There is there is a refrigerator. There is there is refrigerator. There is not there is not there is not refrigerator. Okay, in that case it's negative. There isn't a refrigerator, there is no refrigerator, or there isn't any refrigerator. Cualquiera de esas tres estaría correcta, but negative. Number five. There isn't any rules on the floor. Okay, another. Aha, uh -huh, because it's plural, está en plural, rules. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? There aren't. There aren't. There aren't. There aren't rugs on the floor. On the floor. Excellent. Y si le pusieron any, también está correcta. There aren't any rugs in the, on the floor. Now, curtains on the windows. There, there aren't, aren't, aren't any curtains. Any curtains. Any curtains. Excellent. Yeah. Pudieron haber puesto there aren't curtains in the windows or there aren't any curtains in the windows and it's okay. Excellent. Number seven. Excellent. That is, there is a mirror, a mirror. mirror. There is. in the bedroom. There is a mirror in the bedroom. Number eight. There aren't any books in the bookcase. There aren't there are any books in the bookcase. Excellent. We're going to check the answers. Estas son las posibles respuestas, así como las escuché. Excellent job. There is no dresser in the bedroom. Oh, there isn't a dresser in the bedroom. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Number three, there is a TV in the living room. Number four, there isn't a refrigerator. Oh, podían haber puesto there is no refrigerator. Uh, number five, there aren't any rugs on the floor. Oh, there are no rugs on the floor. Cualquiera de las dos, correcta. And number six, there aren't any curtains on the windows. Oh, pudieron haber puesto, there are no curtains on the window. And that's okay. Uh, number seven, there is a mirror in the bedroom. Uh, number eight, there aren't any books in the bookcase. O oh, pudieron haber puesto there are no books in the bookcase. Any of those answers would be okay. Ahora, ¿cómo se sienten con ese tema? ¿Ya mejor? Yes, más claro. Ok, entre más práctica, mejor, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a pasar a la sección 3. So we have the video jobs, but and activities. Uh, before going, I want to remind you that, uh, well, this is our second week of classes. Esta es nuestra segunda semana. Llegaremos hasta el viernes, ¿verdad? So tenemos la clase de mañana jueves y la del viernes. Ya a partir de la otra semana ya vamos de lunes a jueves y la otra igual, ¿verdad? Solo nos van a ir quedando dos semanas después de esta las cuales van a ser de lunes a jueves. Pero esta semana sí todavía vamos a tener clase viernes. Nos queda jueves y viernes. 
Eh, sé que han estado trabajando en la plataforma. Si de repente tienen algún tema que quisieran que repasemos, háganmelo saber. Eh, puede ser, acuérdense que después de la sección 3 también está el midterm exam. Está el examen que ya es como el primero, ¿verdad? De la mitad de módulo. Y luego, pues, el último. Siempre hacemos un repaso en la última semana. Entonces, se los digo desde ya, por si tienen algún tema pensado, anótenlo por ahí y me dicen qué tema quieren que repasemos para hacer más ejercicios. <coughs> ok, so we're, I'm going to share the screen so we can watch the video on section number three. Ay, let me see. Curso. Yeah, we watch this. Mm. Be patient, it's a little slow. Okay, here I go. Okay, so we're going to watch this video and we're going to study the vocabulary for jobs and activities. words given. After you finish this activity, Common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. One, he's a receptionist. Two, she's a doctor. Three, she's a nurse. Four, he's a pilot. Five, she's a flight attendant. Six, he's a musician. Seven, she's a singer. Eight, she's a judge. Nine, he's a police officer. Ten, he's a lawyer. Eleven, he's a cook. He's a chef. Twelve, he's a waiter. Thirteen, she's a waitress. Fourteen, he's a salesperson. Fifteen, she's a cashier. Sixteen, she's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places, in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities, wears a uniform, sits all day, 
talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples, and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now, I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, that was the video about the jobs and activities. So I don't know if you have any questions regarding to the vocabulary that you just see in the video. Questions about the vocabulary? No questions? Sí? El, perdón, en literal A. Accountant? Accountant es cajero. Eh, perdón, contador, contador o contadora. Accountant. Accountant. Ok, gracias. Bellhop. Eh, Bellhop es eh, lo que se conoce como botones. Okay. Eh, la persona de un hotel que le ayuda con las maletas, el ascensor y esos son los bellhop, los botones. Y el vendor. Vendor es, bueno, como se pueden ver, hay un sales person y hay un vendor. Uh -huh. Sales person es un vendedor formal, digamos, que trabaja en un almacén. Y vendor, pues, es informal, un vendedor de... Pues un comerciante, vendor. Uh -huh. From desk clerk. From desk clerk se le llama a los recepcionistas. Uh -huh. From desk clerk son los que atienden la recepción, que nos dan información. That's it. Es o, igual que el recepcionista. Igual que en el video, pero en el video dijo recepcionista. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Y sería de las dos formas que se pueda decir. Yes. Uh -huh. <coughs> Any other question? Plumber. Plumber. Ok, plumber plomero. es plomero, alguien que se encarga de arreglar las tuberías. Plumber. Okay, uh, if there are no more questions, we can practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. Accountant. 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 Cashier. Cashier. Doctor. Doctor. Electrician. Electrician. Front desk clerk. Front desk, front desk clerk. clerk. Nurse. 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 Office, Office manager. Office manager. manager. Painter. 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 Plumber. 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 Police officer. Police, Police officer. officer. Receptionist. Receptionist. Sales person. Person. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Taxi driver. Taxi driver. Vendor. 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 Okay, this is quite different. Es un poco diferente al que estaba en la plataforma. Habían otras profesiones. ¿Recuerdan cuáles eran? The waiters y waiters. Ajá, habían dos más. Eh, la podemos escribir acá. Eh, 
Waiter y waitress. Waitress. Ajá, es para mesero, es waiter. Ajá, es para mesero en masculino y mesera. Waitress. 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 También vimos pilot y también estaba flight attendant. Flight attendant son los... Um, azafatas o tripulantes de cabina, los sobrecargos, los que andan en el avión atendiendo a los pasajeros, es flight attendant. Flight attendant. ¿Algo otro que recuerden que estaba en el video? Flight attendant, waiter, waitress. Nurse. Ah, nurse. Ajá, también estaba nurse. Any other? Singer, creo que también estaba dicha. Singer, okay, good. Judge. Musician. Musician, okay, musician. musician. Any other? Okay, that was basically all the vocabulary that we saw there. And the... Uh, Lo que se les pide que hagan es que escriban oraciones describiendo las profesiones a donde trabajan y una actividad. Por ejemplo, eh, podemos ir a decir a mechanic. Uy. A mechanic. A donde, uh, ¿qué hace un mecánico? Repara autos, ¿verdad? Fix, y como estamos hablando, fixes, porque es tercera persona singular. La idea es que vamos a seguir repasando el simple present. A mechanic fixes cars, repara eh, carros y trabaja and works in a garage. Ok, garage. ¿Y taller cómo sería? Garage. Garage significa taller en inglés y también cochera. Significa ambos. A mechanic fixes cars and works in a garage. O so sea, estamos haciendo oraciones en las que hablamos de una profesión, decimos una actividad que realiza y el lugar a donde trabajan usualmente. Okay? Eso es lo que pueden hacer post in the discussion forum and then you will have to complete the knowledge checks. So this is it for today. Tomorrow we will continue with uh, section number three. And remember that uh, Acuérdense de completar los ejercicios de la plataforma y de pedir ayuda si necesitan o tienen alguna duda. Estamos para servirles. ¿Ok? Muchas gracias. Ok, thank you for joining today's session. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good evening. Good night.